What's going on guys, your boy Amazing, we're back with another video, and in today's video guys, me doing the top 5 best teams for Chaos Battle as of week 2 guys. So I have made a updated team guide here to let you guys know which teams I think are going to be the top 5 best teams to be actually run right now in Chaos Battle. And since uh, week 1 has, uh, you know, changed into week 2 now, and the point thresholds are completely different, uh, we can actually talk about new teams here that I'm going to recommend to you guys that you can run to score a uh, high this week if you planned on actually you know pushing for a high score this week or whatever the case so before we actually hop into the video though make sure to subscribe to your boy amazing we're on the road to the 40,000 subscribers you guys have a 40k sub special in the works if you guys have not hit that subscribe button already definitely make sure to men and with that out of the way let's hop in and let's go over my top five best teams in no order by the way um except maybe the last two um, but yeah, top five best teams in general uh, for Chaos Battle. So first one we're going to be looking at is going to be this one right here. So we have the tier Freya, Freya, and then we have Nanashi Backland. So the fact that we're able to run this, by the way, is absolutely insane. You have your Nanashi Backland, which gives you the 30% basic stats with the Holy Relic. And then also it's going to be applying the defense related stats and the gauge reduction. Um, the, uh, what's it called? The Freya here is going to be like your taunt character um, to draw damage away from tier. Tier is also going to be taunting as well uh, off turn one that's where you have the Tarmiel link and then freya right there is going to be on the mile link because he's just going to be able to deal a ton of damage and obviously you want to have the holy relics for freya and nanashi i think um those are the main ones you want freya is not necessarily needed and tier doesn't have a holy relic so yeah this team uh in terms of investment only really freya and nanashi relic but it's really really good this team is one of the better teams, I could say, because of the fact that Nanashi's 500 now. He's so free. And then even like Freya Freya, just free comp break here with tier alongside. Um, so yeah, this is going to be one of the teams that people are going to run. I'll, I'll pull up the game and we'll talk about some variants you guys can run. And we'll, we'll kind of look through uh, what other options you guys got. So let's actually open up the game and let's see what we're able to do. All right, guys, so we're on the game now. What other variants can we run with the tier uh, Ragnarok comp here? So let's actually remove this. Let's go to Ragnarok here and let's see what other options we do have. So there's other options we have. We really don't have any other options, man. Like these are going to be, this is going to be the team you want to run, at least from the Ragnarok side of things. Let's actually go to uh, race and then go to unknown now because um, that'll give us kind of an idea of other characters you can run as well. Uh, but from the looks of it, though, you guys can see a lot of characters are just super, super high now, man. Maybe Red Gulther. You could maybe try Red Gulther. He's still a character that you can use. Um, I don't know about... Yeah, you can't run like an Echidna variant or anything like that with Tyr. Um, you could replace Tyr uh, and run like an Echidna variant. You could do like this, maybe. And then uh, by replacing Tyr, you might be able to run like another character here that could be uh, pretty, you know, pretty substantial. Maybe like a, an Infinity Merlin, maybe Philo. Um, they could be pretty good. Uh, Fest Gold is still really good. Rimuru. So, yeah, I mean, you do have some kind of, you know, some options here, guys. Uh, but I would say the best version would probably be with Tier because Tier is just able to hit super, super hard. Um, especially with the AoE and then follow up single target. So he's going to be really, really strong. And this is going to be one of the teams that I highly recommend for uh, Chaos Battle. And let's actually move now into the uh, number four team, guys. All right, guys, so for the next team that we're going to be talking about, it's going to be the Goddess team. So Goddess team is going to be the next team. And the reason why I'm uh, using Goddess team here is because Goddess team, after getting their, uh, you know, their points changed, um, you can actually run Goddess Liz, Margaret, Mile, and Anashi Backlin again. So um, this is pretty much what you would see in normal PvP <laughs> if you're running Goddess team. So uh, yeah, you obviously have Mael. Um, he's going to be there because he's giving the damage reduction for the team. He's also going to be the strongest Goddess character out, uh, out at the moment. Uh, Goddess Elizabeth obviously providing the revive. And then you have the taunt and the really, really broken block effect shield. And then you do also have Margaret there to build basic stats every time you use a buff skill. And then Nanashi obviously in the back line with the, uh, the defense related and then the gauge reduction whenever the team gets attacked um you can also run uh, tristan in the back as well i actually did see that tristan was not too high in points as well um yeah we can we can talk about variants as well guys but i think this team mainly is just kind of stuck with this um yeah let me actually open up the, uh, open up the game here and we'll talk about uh other team uh ideas you guys might want to run as well all right guys so now if we actually look at variants for the goddess team here let's actually filter to goddess and there isn't really too many characters that can be swapped out here man the only one i might say would be maybe like ludo here because he does provide um a uh, shield and does give attack related you could honestly swap uh the backline here from the nashi to be ludo um could be pretty good and then yeah i mean honestly other than that i wouldn't do any changes this team is going to be as good as it is um oh maybe actually green sario green sario could be a good swap for like uh goddess elizabeth 
um, because he's going to be uh, really, really nice with the counters. And obviously, the counter damage is going to be really, really strong. So, yeah, that's probably the only other option. Maybe also Light Liz, too, because um, Light Liz is obviously providing the basic stats and then the heal. Um, it could be nice depending on the team you're facing. But honestly, there isn't really too much variations you're going to go with God's team. It's pretty much the standard variant you would go with. Um, another thing that I will say, though, is, uh, uh, and as I mentioned before, is Tristan is able to be run. So if you do want to run Tristan instead of Nanashi, feel free. You do get the, what is it, the 45% defense related stats. So I think that's going to be really nice. So yeah, that's pretty much the variants I would say you could run right there with the Goddess team. Let's actually move on to the next team now, guys, and talk about what you can run with that. All right, guys, so the next team that we're going to be going over is going to be the updated human team. So human team actually did get an update here. You guys can see you can run Transcendent Bond now, Rudius, Roxy, and Jenna Backlight. Now, a lot of you people might think, uh, amazing, this doesn't seem like too crazy of a team. Uh, but the reason why it's so good is because turn one, you're able to one-shot the opposing strongest DPS on the enemy team because of Roxy on the team and because you have the attack-related increase as well. So because you're able to do that extra damage past the damage cap, and then you have characters like Transcend and Bond here, which can do, you know, just a ton of damage and guaranteed crit on the, uh, on the you know, the uh, snipe card, like that's going to be really, really strong, right? So a team like this is going to be really good, especially with Rudius being able to be run and infect, right? So that is super crazy. So let's actually open up the game here, guys, and we'll talk about uh, other variants you guys can run and character changes that you can, you can swap out, at least for this team right here. All right, guys, so we have pulled up the team here. Let's actually talk about variants now that we can run for this uh, human team right here. Um, so if you actually look at the character options we got here, it's not too like bad here. You actually can also run uh, the one ultimate Escanor, which would be in this slot actually a not a bad idea. So you could feel free to run uh, the one ultimate Escanor alongside like Rudius, Roxy, Jenna, Backline, pretty crazy team as well. I do think Transcendent Bond is going to be a little bit better just because the team is, uh, you know, attack related stat lowering and Bond will be doing a lot more damage based on the attack related lowers. Um, obviously, also Roxy being able to do the extra crit damage is going to help out Bond a ton. And I mean, it would also help out Escanor too, but he only has the one single target as well, whereas Bond has the double single target uh, to make sure he gets the extra damage. Um, other characters you guys could run on humans, probably there isn't really too many I could recommend. Um, if you are running, uh, let's say the ultimate Escanor, you definitely can run Ragnarok Bond backline, I think, um, because it should be able to be run. Let's actually see, um, Bond, uh, let's see, yeah, you can actually run Ragnarok Bond. So Ragnarok Bond is going to be a good backline for this team as well, um, just depending on the variant you are running, right? It obviously depends. If you're running like human uh, with L uh, ultimate Escanor, then you can run Ragnarok Bond instead of Jenna. Uh, but if you want to run, uh, you know, Transcendent Bond, you would do like Transcendent Bond and then Jenna backline, right? So you have a, a few variants you can run, but the fact that you can run Rudius still alongside these human teams makes it still such a strong variant that you could still give this a try and do really, really well in PvP. But let's actually move back guys and let's talk about the next chaos battle team all right guys we are hopping into the top two teams now for chaos battle moving on to the second team on the list that i have here um and again as i mentioned these are not ordered but i would like to mention that these top two teams i think are going to be running the meta like crazy these three teams that i mentioned already are going to be the ones you could probably see uh, now and again um but they're not going to be too like insane against these top two but yes Moving on to the top two, the first one, or the second one being uh, the Sins team. So we have the Sins variant team, which you guys know in PvP is the variant. I don't think there's going to be any other options in terms of switching out characters, so I'm not going to go into the game and explain. But pretty much, uh, I would say this is the team that, you know, you'd want to run. It's just Transcendent, Bond, Dian, uh, LV, and then you also do have uh, Festival of Zeldris backline. The reason why this team is so good is because you have the basic stat buildup because of Zeldris in the backline with Transcendent, Bond, and the way he works. You have Queen Dian setting up the stance drawing damage away you have lv being able to push an ultimate he obviously is such a strong character having the infect and and the sever gauge fill like he is just broken so if you have this team available and you run it in like actual pvp like this is going to be a really really good team option that you guys can run uh when actually doing uh chaos battle i think this is going to be one of the better teams for sure um because i know on jp people are actually running this team a lot right now and I mean, it makes sense, you know, it's a really, really good team. And Global um, seems that they have the ex uh, pretty much the same point thresholds for these characters, so they're able to be run alongside each other, uh, which is pretty insane. So, 
uh yeah that's the number two team guys and then moving on to number one here which we actually do have a few variants for so we will actually go into the game and talk about it but moving on to number one right here we do have the demon team so the demon team right now is going to be the best team in my opinion uh in chaos battle because you have so many variants and because demon king is still so strong even being 3500 as a score so uh yeah this this is the main team though you have uh demon king you have malasila you have chandler and then kusak backline pretty much what you're trying to do is you have chandler taunt up and then Molassi the Revive will obviously proc on either Chandler or if they somehow kill Demon King it procs on him and then he is obviously gonna do like a million damage when he gets his all stats up right it's just an absolutely insane team so um there are some variants though guys so let's actually open up the game here and we'll talk about some variants you guys can run if you don't have this exact uh team set up all right guys so the next team option as we were talking about is going to be demon team now in terms of the variants you guys can run here the one variant that i would actually recommend would be esterosa variant because you can actually uh, run blue esterosa now which is you know absolutely insane the fact that you're able to run this guy it makes no sense it makes no sense 500 points for blue esterosa by the way but he is just like you know super crazy so you can run a uh, blue esterosa um and you can replace uh Malassila on this team and you can still run the variant um i would also say maybe chandler you could swap out as well uh kusak if you don't have him you could run like a uh, uh, demon chandler uh, in the back line if you're not running this chandler right um there are just a ton of variants now you know a lot of characters are 500 on demon now and uh you will be able to run them assault mode melee like if you want to do like this team right here you can do definitely do this uh this is a really good team as well yeah there's just so many teams now guys you guys can run at least on demons um whatever variant you guys want to run feel free and there's just so many options now you know alongside what you can do another variant though that i do want to mention which i think will be really good without demon king will be the purgatory melee uh nebula zelda's build so this is going to be another variation of demons that i think will be really strong because you have infect so you can still uh, kill opposing demon kings and then a uh, purgatory melee obviously still is able to hit hard alongside building the uh, basic stats uh, with that Strosa right there so yeah man that's pretty much it though for the video guys let me know what you guys think in the comment section below let's actually switch back uh to chaos battle uh, on my uh little like yeah guys thank you guys for watching the video those were the five teams that i recommend for everyone when playing chaos battle this week i hope this video is helpful and i hope you guys learned something so that's gonna be it and i'm gonna see you guys in the next video man peace out and have a great rest of your day guys